Hello friends. Happy almost weekend. I guess it is the weekend. It is Friday, isn't it? This week has totally slipped by me very quickly. I don't know about anyone else, but time just seems to be going extremely fast these days. And <laughs> to top it all off, being a small business over being a small business owner and a mother of a young toddler, which Levi's birthday is this Tuesday, 2 22, 2022. That magical day that Pluto returns to the US. So I uh, wish him a happy birthday and uh, it should be a pretty exciting day. Even if it's not, it's my son's birthday. So that's exciting in and of itself. We all love Levi, my little co-star. He's not in these videos because he is currently asleep when I do them, <laughs> if you were wondering. Because there is no way he would let me actually sit and have a setup and talk to a camera. He he would love to be in, in it and he would love to grab the camera and the light. He calls it my light a robot. I digress. Some super exciting news that I put on my community channel is that I am now an affiliate with Touchstone Essentials which is the heavy metal detox that I have been raving about for months now. Um, they generously offered me, gave me a discount code of $50 off the heavy metal detox, the PBX spray. And that is like an 82% discount. So instead of paying like $60, you pay 13 to try it out for the first time. You do have to sign up the for the subscription, but you can cancel it right after you make your first purchase. So it's not like you get sucked in, you can totally cancel it whenever you need to, but it is extremely worth it once you do start using it, which is why I think they're giving this huge discount because they know that once people start using it, they will see how good it actually is and how effective it is and know that it's important and it's something to invest in. Anyways, so I will be linking that discount code in my description box from now on. You do have to put my name in the referral box when you use the code. So make sure you do that. But yeah, I'm super excited because that's like an amazing deal and it just gets it in the hands of more and more people that might not be able to afford it at full price. So, super exciting about that. When I started this video, I was going to apologize that I have not been consistent in the past two weeks about posting videos every weekday. But then I was like, no, that completely defeats the purpose of my entire video that I wanna talk about today. So I've been starting to understand more and more and more what the divine feminine actually is and the attributes and the way the divine fem feminine fem it's hard for me to say that word feminine oh my gosh the divine feminine actually works and it's amazing because our entire world our western world is a thousand percent set up in masculine energy like a hundred percent the wake up in the morning and go to work and work all day and then wind down towards the end of the way that's a very like masculine energy that's um based on the hormones that men create in their bodies women do not create those hormones not the same ones and not the same time of day and all that jazz makes you wonder <laughs> they've they've made us think that there's something wrong with us if we don't wake up and start our morning and get all these things done in the morning and and like women usually aren't naturally like that we like have a slower flow of a pace unless we're forcing ourselves to be in masculine energy which is absolutely mind-blowing to me like this has been like a new revelation and a new rabbit hole kind of journey that i've been learning and it's one of those that's divinely on my path because I'm not like trying to learn it. It just keeps getting pushed in my face. 
And so I, I learned the other day that when a man wakes up, he has certain hormones that basically like make him like ready to start the day and like want to get things done early in the morning. If you think about like back in the olden days when, you know, men would wake up at before the sun, get up, go hunt and get the food for the family for that day. They would do all of that work in the morning. They would do all of that high adrenaline focus in the morning. And then they would come home and, you know, maybe they would do something around the house, prepare the meat or whatever, but be a slower, relaxing part of the afternoon and whatnot, and then wind down. That is literally how our entire society is formed these days. And it's insane to think about. Like, I had never thought about it like that until three days ago. So then I had a friend over yesterday and I was kind of talking about how I feel really blessed because with the way I work now and how I have basically come up with so many different ways to make money outside of what people consider a normal job, I have the ability to essentially tap in and get connected with that divine feminine energy and when I feel like creative pull towards something, I'll do it. But when I don't, I focus on something else. I literally just let myself flow in whatever direction that feels right for that moment, which is something I never was able to do and not many people are able to do, especially in this Western masculine world. <laughs> and so I feel extremely blessed that I actually get the opportunity to flow in that way. I currently have seven different things. I counted them the other day. I have seven different things that are possible income sources for me and my family. And I have not mastered any of them yet, but I, when I feel the creative pull to actually like really deep dive into how this thing is going to work and really put my effort and time into into understanding and to working towards that thing actually making me money, it does. And then the times that it doesn't and I don't feel as motivated or creatively inspired to work on that particular project, I don't. And it usually just sits there, but then I'll dip into one of the other areas or I'll dip more into home life or whatever. And I had a friend over yesterday and she had, she said something really amazing and profound. And she says, I came to the realization that I absolutely can do anything I want to do. I can do anything I set my mind to, but I can't do everything. And I was like, wow, that is like the perfect, perfect example, perfect way to describe the feminine energy. And you're not essentially meant to do everything all the time. Like that's what burnout is. <laughs> um, but when you are in kind of the flow and like let yourself flow as a woman towards, towards this, um, more, you know, creative pool instead of I have to do this because I have to be consistent. Like you get rid of the have to's and start moving in into the, the want to's and start being led by your intuition and being led by your creativity. For me, things have gotten so much easier, so much easier, especially because I started letting my inner child essentially lead me in the directions and started following what I used to do as a child. And those are the ways literally that I make money now and support my family. And I feel so much more of a whole and happy person. And so does my, my, my husband, my relationship with my husband's getting better. I feel like more confident in being a mother, you know, just it's affected and it's, 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 
it's branched out to every every area of my life and it all came from the first idea of trusting myself and being okay with making mistakes and being okay with you know my not having a ton of money to spend at one time but really investing in myself and in my creativity and in that natural flow and that natural wave of intuition creativity you know whatever whatever sparks my interest at the time to channel that and focus that towards like okay so how could I make money from that it's been a huge huge blessing to me and it's amazing because it's I can see that it's already inspiring to other people in my family because I've essentially seen how it's caused a ripple effect of like, oh, maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that. And it's things that like they would never think of um, had they not seen someone else try. So I feel like that is a small part of what the divine feminine in energy is. I know that my audience is mostly female, so that's why I feel okay talking about it. And I do believe that there is a divine masculine that, you know, is obviously just as important and just as necessary, but I can't say that I actually know <laughs> or could adequately, adequately express what that actually is or looks like. But right now I'm, starting to understand the feminine side because I have very much been a little too much in my masculine energy for a very long time and this new idea in this world new world of me dipping into this feminine energy that I never allowed myself to be in because I was always kind of in surviving mode now that I'm actually allowing myself to be in it and to live out of it, it's a totally new world, a totally different world. And it makes me think of people talking about like this new world that we're going into, and, you know, this new era and everything. It's a total rise of this divine feminine and taking back and defining the balance again between the divine feminine and the divine masculine because we have been so out of balance for so long. I mean, you see what religion, governments, everything, the entire world, our entire society has done to women as a whole, as a collective, especially in Western worlds, is absolutely mind blowing because like where my husband's from in third world countries, of course they have their own issues, but there's so much truth and there's so much truth in their culture that we need to get back to. And my husband, when we were thinking about having kids, he wanted a, a girl first. He wanted, he, he has such a deep love for women and the respect for women. He knew that he wanted a girl first. And that's like not normal. Like, especially in America, like men always want boys, <laughs> it seems like, but he wanted he wanted a girl so that he could have um, this start to his legacy, basically, and this start of power in his children is kind of how he described it. I don't know if that makes sense, but he just sees women as these like amazing, powerful um, humans. And he knows the deep well that us as women are. And he was so excited to have a girl first. <laughs> we didn't find out Levi's gender and we had a boy first, which I kind of knew was going to be a boy, but um, I think our girl will come. But um, it's just kind of shocking to a lot of people, the fact that he wanted a girl first. But I just think it, you know, it very much describes just him as a person and his character of just, you know, the respect that he holds for women and the you know 
divine masculine in a lot of ways that he actually is. But women are extremely powerful and and this rise of this divine feminine energy is so exciting because the negative masculine energy is what striving, hustling, grinding, whatever you want to call it, you know, fake it till you make it thing. That is, I feel like, the negative masculine energy that we've all been trapped in is part of the matrix. <laughs> um, but the rebirthing of this divine feminine energy is going to completely change things. Completely. The structures of our world are going to be completely different because women will have more of a say and the feminine energy will have more of a say. And I'm excited for it. I've never been like a feminist of any, really any kind um, because I don't like where it's gone, um, that movement. Um, but I definitely always knew that there was something missing with women and what women were taught and how much of a war has been on women <laughs> over the last thousand years or so. I don't even know, but for a long time. So I'm excited for us as women to rise up and even, I mean, men can have divine feminine energy also. I'm just excited for it to be more accepted and trusted again. So that's all I wanted to say for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic um, day, whatever day you're watching it and uh, get in touch with your divine feminine. I should have worn my shirt. I have a shirt on my shop that says Divine Feminine, or it's called that. Um, but yeah, bye. <laughs>